Meanwhile, all eyes on San Antonio this week as the city hosts the biggest breast cancer symposium in the world. Today, researchers, scientists, doctors focused on how COVID has impacted breast cancer patients. Stephanie Jimenez at the Henry B. Gonzalez Convention Center for day one of this event. It made it more frightening um, because I'm already thinking about the cancer. Sharon Anderson has had a rough two years. As if dealing with breast and spinal cancer weren't enough, COVID added extra complications. I was in the middle of transitioning to a new treatment where I would take a shot. Then I had to think about how would COVID react with this new treatment. Thankfully, Sharon feels good. That's one of the reasons she's in San Antonio for this week's breast cancer symposium. She's there as a patient advocate. And speaking of patients, patients are not getting their regular screening. Dr. Deborah Pat is an oncologist who joined the event virtually. She's noticed that COVID led to people delaying mammograms. The CDC looked at screening tests in April of 2020 and noticed that they were down by 87 percent. So Dr. Pat hopes that people reverse the trend. That's how we diagnose breast cancer early before you can feel it. And the natural consequence of patients foregoing screening is that they tend to present with later stage cancers and those can be associated with a higher risk of cancer death. However, COVID has led to some positive things. Things like telemedicine and uh, electronic digital healthcare systems. Um, some of the things that we've implemented in our clinic in Texas Oncology are um, a, a robust use of telemedicine. And that's made it easier for patients in rural areas with few doctors to keep up with therapy or other types of treatment. As for Sharon, she has a long road ahead. She's gonna need cancer treatments every three weeks for the rest of her life. But speaking on behalf of breast cancer patients, she's hoping that people who are otherwise healthy do this. Well, I'm pushing for people to participate in clinical trials and support research because that's the only thing that's going to keep us going and going to keep us alive. Stefania Jimenez, KSAT 12 News. Support research. Yesterday, we asked you to submit questions which Stefania brought directly to doctors and researchers at the symposium. You'll get those answers tonight on the night beat.